Why, hello there, I'm Cordell Prime, and I'm bringing you a toy review on Human Alliance Jazz. And to start off, we're looking at the human. This is supposed to be Captain Lennox. I say supposed to because he looks nothing at all like Josh Duhamel. He looks more like a generic soldier guy to me. In the body's nicely molded, you got the pouches, you got the gun, you got all that, but the face looks nothing like him. That kind of sucks. Oh well, for articulation, head rotates all the way around, his arms rotate all the way around, they go in and out. His legs go forward, back, he rotates at the hip for some reason. He bends at the knee, and he rotates at the knee. And since he's the human, he can sit inside Jazz by you opening the door. Positioning Linux just right, whatever way you want. You slide him in. He fights with you. And come on. There we go. Close the door. And here is Lennox riding inside Jazz. It's actually pretty nice. I like this gimmick. You can open the door. And this actually is a good chance for me to show you the interior. You can see they got the gauges and all that molded in. I can't really zoom in closer. My camera blurs up. But they got the gauges molded in. And go from this side too. You can see they got the gauges molded in, the radio. They did what they could. Because, I mean, this is this is a transformer. So they did what they could. You gotta give them credit for that. You gotta give Hasbro credit for that. They did their best on this. Come on. There we go. And yes, Lennox can also ride on the bike. He's gotta position him right. Even though his hands... With his hands like this, this is how he has to hold on to the handlebars. Remember? This is how he holds on to the handlebars here, people. So it's really a pain just to get it on there. I'm not even going to bother with it, really. I mean, it's a nice bike. I mean, they got it nicely molded and painted. I mean, silver. I like the silver accent, but really, not really much to try to get this guy onto it. But now onto the star of the set, Jazz. This is his vehicle mode. He is the Pontiac Solstice. And wow, is this a really nice looking vehicle mode. He is painted in this beautiful looking silver color. I just love this. And his details are just great. The front here, you got this nice clear plastic for the head and fog lights. You got the Pontiac logo painted, plus the grill painted. The side, you well up here you got the vents in that molded in. Same down here. Door handle molded in. You got the gas cap done up. The back, you've got the tail lights painted and, and a molded area for where a license plate would go. Side, the exact same details, door handle, stuff like that. You also have this nice little silver ring around the hubcap. Actually, around the rims. It's really nice. His robot junk actually isn't that bad. Down here, the only real thing you can make out is the head, which doesn't become that much of a problem if you turn it around. So, really, they did a nice job on this. I'm impressed. I mean, he does roll. So, I guess I can transform this guy. Let's see. I'm going to angle up. It usually helps. First, you got to open the doors. Like that. Next, you hook the hood. You want to separate that. Fold it up. Same for the trunk. Except that's a bit stiffer. It's joints. So, there you go. You got it like that. Now, right, I don't know if you're going to see that well, but right where this part of the car, this, right, right there, right where you see it's coming apart, you want to disconnect that, that area, like this. Now, you can disconnect the entire back section. And here's where we're going to get to the legs. You want to accordion out the legs, like this, and I... As far, as far as I can go. Cording out the legs, straighten them out like that. You got a shin guard here that you want to fold up. The back of the car, you can rotate a certain way, like this. Fold that, or rotate that forward. Straighten the leg, and there you go. Got one leg done. You're going to do the exact same thing over on the other side.
And here's Jazz's legs done. Coming up here to the torso, you want to fold this whole piece up, gets that, gets that out of the way. Rotate or fold this down. The sides of the front, you want to fold those out or extend those out. They will become the arms. You can rotate this around now. Now down here, I'm trying to zoom in on this. My light there. You can see this piece, you want to fold that up. This is going to be used gut. You're just going to fold that down, peg it together, and here you go. And you can see he's starting to take shape. And I'm going to try to get my light the right way so you can see that. Okay, straighten this way out. Now, you want to come to the arms. We're going to turn the door basically into his hands. You want to flip out his hands. If I can get it. So now you got him flat. Rotate this piece, and there you go. You got him like that. You got him more three dimensional. Fold in the top half of the door. Rotate it whatever way you want. Do the same thing over here. Fold the hand out. Fold out that one section of the hand, makes it more initial. Alright, arms done. Now up here, you want to pull out the middle of the um, grill of the car. Rotate that around, so now it's right side up. Angle these whatever way, you, you can angle them, leave them straight. Take these pieces here, do the exact same thing, you can angle them, leave them straight whatever you really want to do, like that. This piece you want to fold back, because now you can bring out his head. Get that out. And go heads out. Rotate it around. Straighten him out. And here is Jazz in his robot mode. Really nice looking robot mode. I just love the way this looks. For articulation, the head will rotate all the way around. You can get him to look really far up if you want, but he can't really look down. His arms rotate all the way around. They go in and out. He bends at the elbow. He rotates at the elbow. He bends out like that at the elbow. The hands, you can rotate at the wrist. And I guess you could say that whole making the hands more three-dimensional thing is, um, I guess you could say is um, for more articulation. Legs go forward, back, in and out. He bends at the knee, rotates just below the knee. And he swings somewhat in and out of the knee, if you want to count that. And there's his articulation. Now, the head is what I really want to get into. And my camera will focus. Come on, camera focus. Gotta get the position just right. Come on. Come on. There you go. The head looks a lot like jazz. In fact, if you can tell, it looks as though he's a little bit angry. And you can see there's a little thing missing on his head. There's something on his face that was in the movie that's missing. Well, back here, right there, that piece that's hanging out, that's a switch. You flip that up, he gets his shades or visor from the movie. I really like that detail. I really think it's a nice way they did I'm, I really think it's nice that they put that in, put it like that. That's a nice little thing that I'm glad they threw it in. And he does have the bike, which becomes his blaster. To do that, you remove the missile, fold out these silver pieces, you extend the bike like that, fold the back piece down, flip out the peg, and there is his gun. Now, to attach it, it doesn't fit in his hand. There's a peg hole right there. I like to basically just transform one of his arms back to the door mode, the door mode, and peg it right on in. There you go. Put the missile in, and just for fun, we're going to shoot Linux. Just for fun. There is a lot of power behind this, by the way. It's a very powerful missile launcher. And, I mean. A lot of power. Really good. Love it. And yes, he does have the whole human alliance aspect. I'm only gonna. I. I mean, 
First you can fold down his shin guard, fold up his feet, and you can peg him in. Peg in. There you go. So now you got Lennox pegged in on Jazz's foot. For some reason. Uh, you got a peg on this hand, right there. It's not on the other one, where you could take the one of the peg holes, oh, drop them on Lennox's feet, peg it straight in, and now you got Lennox there, and Jazz is holding on to him. You can talk to Lennox now. Nice. Now my all-time favorite one of the Human Alliance gimmicks on this guy is up here. You got a black piece here and a brown piece. The brown piece you can flip up, take this cannon, flip it forward, and if you can see that, it is actually molded to look a little like a seat. And so you can take peg hole Lennox's back, peg on the seat. You know what's going to happen? Going to Peg it in. And this is my preferred way of displaying Linux. On Jazz's shoulder, blasting the cannon. It seems a bit more believable than sitting on his foot. So you can have these two blasting Decepticons. I mean, Jazz. Jazz takes his blaster, and it's like, Jazz is just like, where's that button? There it is. Just like, bam! And Linux is like, pew, 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 bang! And that is it for Human Alliance Jazz. I, I, in my honest opinion, I highly recommend this figure. His vehicle mode and robot mode are highly accurate to the way he looked in the first movie. His transformation is fun. Some of his gimmicks are kind of stupid, like why would you have Lennox sitting on his foot? I mean, holding Lennox in his hand is a bit more believable, but I just love the way the can I just love the cannon thing there. I like that. The visor gimmick. I really like flipping it up and down, your choice of display. The, the launching missile, of course. Every Transformer, I think, should come with one of those. It's just a fun gimmick. And he's just a great figure to have. I do recommend him. I don't know how easy it is to find in stores. Uh, I got mine for Christmas last year, but he is in the Hunt for the Decepticons line, so check your Target, your Walmart, wherever you, wherever, whatever place you have that can sell, that sells Transformers. Look there. If you find them, get them. Great toy. So, hope you enjoyed this review. Rate, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. See ya.